Hey guys, Luna here. Quick disclaimer before we start the episode. We recorded Chojin X Chapter 9 about six months ago, so if some things we say sound a little bit outdated, that's why. So thank you for sticking with us, and I hope you enjoy! Welcome to Her Big Girls, I'm Mamtaku. And I'm Luna, and we're back with Chapter 9, before October 14. <laughs> you call that one. I for sure did. So I do, I do think Chapter 10 will then be in the Jump magazine. I, okay. Which so would make sense, news. because like, nope, Joe nope, nope, nope. no? We have news oh. on that. They're going to start, the magazine is going to start with Chapter 1. So basically, oh. the magazine will be playing catch up. And mm. what happens after that? I don't know. So the magazine is literally just going to start it as a new series. Okay. And uh, yeah. So I don't know what happens when they when they get to be in sync. So I assume for the first few months, it'll just be a weekly yeah. chapter until they I catch think- up and then we'll see what happens. All righty. Okay. I didn't expect that. Okay. I thought, you know, Chojin X, X could be 10, chapter 10. Ooh. But, okay, no. <laughs> um, yeah, so I guess we still have to rely on online chapters for at least a couple months, right? At least for two more yeah. months? Yeah, it seems like it. Okay. And by then we'll have more news. And we'll have more, even happen. more, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so. It's an we'll ever-evolving be- topic. Uh, I guess we'll still be hitting that F5 button like crazy every day. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. I, well. So so the difference, so chapter eight to chapter nine was less than two weeks, which is crazy, but mm. this is, you know, seems to be how this is going to be going. Matt so we just, like you said, yeah. we will be yeah. refreshing constantly. Okay. So where we left off, chapter eight. Yes. Uh, Tokyo's got his face back. He's yep. at the school for Chojin kids and... We met a few new characters at the end. We met the paper animal lady and right. the cryptid. And we're not sure if they're good guys or bad guys. Right. They see we're, we're leaning towards bad guys at this moment, right? I am definitely yeah. leaning towards bad guys. That's what But I'm I kind thinking. of like that at the moment where we left it, Tokyo sort of has his life back in order now. Like he's He's still going he's to school. He's got his face back. He's at school, yes. And he's gonna get his class B chosen license now. But apparently his family and friends are all supposed to be unaware that he's a chosen. That's true. He hasn't told them yet. No. And he's gonna figure out what his dream is. Yes. Or is gonna become, because he doesn't have one at the moment. So what are you hoping for this chapter? You still hanging on to hope that we're going to see Azuma something something? Listen, he's going to be like, there is something up with him. He is a Chojin. You will not convince me otherwise. And I want to know what's going on with that dude. Okay? I want to know what he's keeping from Tokyo. If you had your choice this chapter, would it be more world building or plot or character development character development for sure Mm. i need to know like we already got a lot of new characters last chapter so if we can explore a bit more on that like i'm not really interested in more about um yamato mori at this point or like the good and bad chojin i just want to know what's going on with tokyo (laughs) and azuma so I want to ask you, I okay. want to ask you one more question. Okay. Um, so far, mm-hmm. like, what's your favorite thing about the series or like your top three favorite things about the series? Ooh. Um, the humor. I love the humor. Like I've been laughing out loud for a couple of times now, which I don't know if any other manga has made me do that, at least not this often. And the the art style is interesting because it keeps changing as well like he's he can do quite a couple of styles within this uh series which is interesting Mm -hmm. to see i do quite like that 
yeah, and the rest is just curiosity where this will go. And who's your favorite character so far? Tokyo. Okay. I was just curious. I know who yours is. <laughs> who? Ellie. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Am I that transparent? She's just adorable. <laughs> I agree with you. Like, the art style is engaging. I like the... I like the fact that he goes from the humorous little chibi style to this, you know, very grandiose style and the and then mm. the action scenes and just some of the compositions. Like he's just wowed me there. And then, you know, we get like this kind of like intense poignancy in one moment and then we get Tokyo talking to pigeons another and I just <laughs> really love that. I think my favorite thing is that Tokyo talks to pigeons. I just that's so charming. Oh, that reminds me of something. I've been playing this game, Genshin Impact, and um, they just had their one year anniversary. And one of like the achievements you would get was like being in the top 10% of your region of um, how many pigeons you had killed in the game. <laughs> <laughs> Tokyo would not be getting that achievement for sure no no that would not work no i definitely do not <laughs> recommend this game for tokyo i was not in the top 10 either so oh <laughs> okay ready i'm ready chapter nine Ch oh, see i see not a new font or maybe not always a new font. so chapter nine is called Sinker, part one, grounder boy. Hook, line, sinker? Have... Sinker, part one, ground. And look at all the uh, the serums. <laughs> I, I still can't believe we got into another series with serums. I mean, it's our thing. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, so Tokyo is at home watching television. That is a very old-fashioned looking television. Yeah, with antennas. Uh-huh. Baseball, of course. Oh, it's a zoom. Well, Shocking. our wonder boy. Oh, he does basketball, soccer, shogi, <laughs> and baseball. <gasps> Wow, he hit it. It grazed the top of the pitcher's head. They're making a comeback. Well, 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 well. Go, Azuma, go. Guess so. Oh. Okay. Ah, but they still lose. Mm-hmm. Must have been like a championship or... Yeah. yeah. And then we're back with the paper animal girl. Mm-hmm. What is she making, like paper food? I'm not sure. All right. Wait, uh, do they know Asuma? Apparently. Apparently they... Because it seems they're like... They're watching the game, too. Yeah. And look at how much more modern their TV is than Tokyo's. I think that probably says something <laughs> about... Tokyo's financial situation. Yeah, maybe. And they're, they're like staying in a dodgy motel as well. Mm hmm Okay. On the mm. bottom of the panel on page four, there's somebody pulling a rolling suitcase. Yep. And then you see that same rolling suitcase in the upper panel where Paper Doll Girl and Cryptid Man up in the corner there. So I'm mm -hmm. guessing on the next page we're going to meet whomever's dragging that suitcase I mean looking at the outfit it could be the paper girl I don't know maybe we'll see. so maybe she was at the game yeah well it's just her arriving at the motel maybe let's see Shiozaki what the heck is going on in that art he had this high speed sinker, one strike out after another. Oh. 
Me and Ume have something in common. We do not know baseball. Same. <laughs> okay. He turned so... into a Trojan in the middle of the tournament. And they can't play against normal people. See, I'm telling you, Azuma is like... Yep, yep. He's only good because he's a Chojin, and he's just scamming everyone. (laughs) That's my theory. (laughs) That's a good one. I wonder what kind of Chojin he turned into. I bet we find out. So that looks like him coming up on a very futuristic building, which may be the building that they're in. Tezuo. No, it wouldn't be because. Hmm. All right. No. This guy eating his hamburger with his trunk or with his. um... (laughs) Or no, it's not. Yeah. His his tentacle. Crazy. Oh, and there's a warrant out for them. Okay. And the bounty for the paper girl is higher than for the... Nice. Yeah. The paper cutout Chojin involved in over 100 crimes. The tentacle Mm. Chojin. So we were right. They were bad guys. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay, so this is the baseball guy that we saw. He's now at the school. Mm. Yamato Mori. <laughs> Video learning. Hmm. Ali's got her mind on one thing. Money. Got her mind on the money. Evaluations. Okay, so we're evaluations with baseball dude is what's happening. Mm Mm-hmm. Oh, this guy's life's been ruined by becoming a Trojan. Hmm. Poor dude. Mm hmm. Well, looks like they are not going to be friends, Tokyo and the baseball dude. Yeah, he deliberately drew them sitting miles apart. Both on the bus and at the bus stop. Hmm. So baseball dude's coming home to his little siblings. Very cute. Mm Mm-hmm. Uh Uh-oh. Mm-hmm. So Tezu has a... Some kind of a secret life going on here. I don't blame him, though. Like, I mean, I, yeah. I mean, probably had like a scholarship to go to a nice college, but mm-hmm. not anymore. And his powers are absolutely of no use to him. He can't do anything with them. It looks like when these people get the powers, everything's about controlling them, keeping them from using them. Hmm. And there's a bank robbery. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like Tokyo's there a lot, though, at the Yamado Mori. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. So I guess we're supposed to assume here that um, Tezuo and these guys went and robbed the bank. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Oh gosh, look at the little school. Mr. S is a Chojin and has accidentally injured a normal person after his powers became very upset. He tried you to see, be a you see him in like a bit of puddle oh. of blood. 
<laughs> a yeah, little yeah. arm in a puddle of blood. <laughs> Mr. S may be tried as a Trojan, or under ordinary human laws, or he may be tried under both sets of laws. And Tokyo and Ellie look like they really want to be there. Ellie could not care less about any of this. She's no. the one who's going to become the criminal mastermind. That kid wants money. She's going <laughs> to use that power for money. She's going to start robbing those banks too. Poor kid. She just wants to be mm. uh, back on the fields and Tokyo doesn't want to do anything. Oh. She wants to make everyone around her happy. Yeah. With money. So her plan is just to get through this, get back home, and go back to tomato farming. Yep. In Gaga Prefecture. <laughs> <laughs> With her boom boom. <laughs> yeah, yeah, boom boom. boom, boom. boom. Mm hmm. <laughs> yeah. So Ellie's turning into a therapist. Mm hmm. Tokyo and he smiles. It's like, don't smile, boy. Don't, 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 don't smile. <laughs> this is not going to end well. Don't be happy. Don't be optimistic. I like how snarky Ellie is, though. Uh huh. Uh huh. His tiny little bubble of optimism. Do we have paper dogs? So we've got the baseball guy who just got the um, the Trojan radar, yeah, and a paper dog. The idea of a paper doll Trojan is really cool. Like this is, can you imagine how cool this would be animated? <laughs> like those little two D elements and amongst yeah. the um, the the really flat, I guess one dimensional. Goga, gola. <laughs> I wonder what that is. <laughs> Mm. Go Gagola. Wait, did he just knock the entire thing over? I have a feeling it's somebody else because he just had that like sensation of another Chojin and mm. he's being stalked by somebody plus the paper. True. So he's being stalked by the paper uh, Chojin person. Yeah. Mm hmm. One bank robber to another. <laughs> That's it. No, he did it himself. He did. And Ellie okay. and Tokyo catch him in the Wait act. a second. Wait a second. So when we left off with Ellie in Tokyo, Ellie was like, speaking of finding things, would you help me look yeah. for something real quick? And then they show up at the baseball well, guy. Yeah, I'm guessing she was. it's a coincidence. Ticked off that he couldn't use a coin for a cola and just like took down a whole vending machine. Yep. Okay. That makes sense. So they're going to have to start talking to one another. But yeah, he has some anger issues, baseball dude. I love that though. Like he threw the coin at the machine and the, mm. was it the coin? Yeah. That... Okay. Huh. What the heck power does he have? I wonder. But yeah, still a lot of like jumping from one scene to the next. And we kind of have to fill in the blanks for ourselves. Hmm. Alrighty. So another new character, Shiozaki. Yep. Baseball player turned Chojin turned bank robber turned vending machine hoodlum. <laughs> uh, I wonder if these like paper animals are keeping track if they're like little um, surveillance things. Mm. I wonder. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Well, guess he's going to have to explain that. Or maybe all Unless, Ellie wanted to find was some Coca-Cola. I wonder. 
Unless Ellie was looking for him. I can't imagine why she would be. No, I don't think so. But we'll find out next chapter, which Lord knows when we'll be getting that. (laughs) Probably tomorrow. Um, (laughs) I hope not. We can barely keep up as it is. That was a very fast 29 pages. True. Okay, we Richard. have the names for the, uh, yeah, Richard and Rurika, Rurika, Paper yeah. Cutout Chojin and the Tentacle Chojin. Hmm. Well, do you want to see what Reddit has to say about this chapter? Let's do it. <laughs> Available at 3559 asks, what happened to the cola machine? <laughs> I don't know what happened to the Goga Gola machine. He controls gravity. That would be an interesting power. Mm. So sad times ahead. Still Mm -hmm. trying to figure out where this series is aiming for narratively overall, because we haven't really gotten much on that yet either. Yeah, I agree with that. Like, so we've had some interesting background, right? We had like the religious type zealot talk on the radio. uh, Yeah, Hoshi Sendak, who kind of has this whole spiritual leader, and then we have. Ellie not knowing how to use a phone machine because it requires a card and Tezuo being upset that he couldn't use coins. So it's like this weird, you know, the technology yeah. and also the technology shift between what we saw in like Tokyo's house yeah. versus in the, um, the evil Trojan's yeah. home. Nine Kug says that he could see the story taking a dystopian, a dystopian turn, I think. I could see that as well. Like, we really don't know if Hoshi Sendak is good or or why this hypervigilance. We see that being a Chojin is a bad thing and that there's been a lot of rebellion about that because of the oversight that's being forced on them. Mm. And then we have that whole thing with Tokyo and his dream and how that's going to factor into it. Mm. Well, there's a lot of potential here, I think, theme-wise. I love Pockley's comment. Good. Card, Ipe, only vending machines are dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Uno, Miyami, QT, and I are both wondering why Tokyo has a futuristic phone but a TV with an antenna. <laughs> do we think it's intentional in the sense that it has something to do with the plot or is it just, just a stylistic choice? To make the world more interesting, yeah. Who knows? I mean, like we had sheep biker gangs and that was nothing (laughs) that anybody raised eyes at. That wasn't a talking point. So clearly this is not a world that we've seen before. Let's see. Azuma is in three, no, four sports club, actually. Helps as a volunteer, saves people, trains martial arts, and much more. It looks like he obsessively wants to be the best or be the center of attention. I have to agree with this male character 111 here. Like, there, he is doing a lot. Too much, I'd say. Yeah, he probably has some baggage. But maybe this is also or for like him. like you said, this could be him trying to make up for the fact that he's lying about being a Chojin. Like, he's lying about who he is. But maybe this and- is for, a way for him to keep his powers in check by mm-hmm. doing well, so that's much. True. Yeah. Classic Run 4836 says, I don't want to start theorizing, just express how much every chapter gets me excited. It's like the world's slowly opening up and all these new characters are coming in. I really hope the ride is fun till it continues. I do wish we had a little more about where it's going now. Like I Mm, am enjoying the characters and the world and, you know, Ishida really is just sort of like revealing the world to us bit by bit. But I'm kind of, I mean, I can kind of see like on the horizon, obviously there's different people who want to use Chojin's different ways and Hoshi mm-hmm. Syndex group is like an authority and they're very controlling of people. And, you know, it feels like there's like almost a religious aspect to it. And yeah, so how that's all going to turn into like a plot. I guess we'll have to keep reading to find out. 
I feel like he's slowly unveiling a little bit more of what's behind the veil, but he also keeps introducing more characters and it's just, yeah, I agree with you. I would like to know a little bit more about what's going on instead of just throwing more new characters in the mix. It does feel like that. Like every chapter we've gotten at yeah. least three new characters. The it's cast like, is growing considerably. I can't remember all these names, Yoshida, please. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just focus on a couple of them for a little bit, would you? I like all the theorizing about Shiozaki's skills. Like CGN94 thinks that it's the ability to put force behind anything he grabs and throws. Somebody else suggested gravity. Mm. Skip all the comments about baseball because I yeah. really don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Same. <laughs> Official Gammy. I really like this series, but the lack of Azuma content that isn't a flashback or mundane stuff is depressing. We haven't got a good Azuma chapter since one. All of his appearance is just to boast Tokyo's character. No, it you got the indeed... read between the lines. <sighs> Every chapter we get to know a little bit more about him. You just... Mm -hmm. But it, it's it's just to keep us guessing. But but we know what's going on with him. Kind of. I still want him to be the pill bug Chojin. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? I doubt it, though. But All right. Did you like the chapter? Um, it's, it's a mixed bag for me because I don't really care as much about the new characters. And mm -hmm. I don't. I still don't really know what to think of the paper children's powers. I think it's cool. Like I really think it's cool. Yeah, but I still don't know exactly what she can do. Um. So, what were your thoughts on the chapter? Are you happy that we got introduced to yet another children? You know, coming from a monthly series, this is just driving me crazy. Like I used to say that. Attack on Titan was so frustrating because it was like you want to eat a meal and instead you're being fed with an eyedropper. But this is almost worse. Like you'd think getting all of this new information uh, so quickly mm. would be more gratifying, but it's not. It's the same exact feeling. It's like I just want to turn the page. And yeah, trust me, like shorter mangas are really frustrating because. Or like weekly, I mean, mangas or... Yeah, because less happens. There's it's less just... going on. And you just mm -hmm. want to go to the next chapter, but you got to wait. And I feel like the story beats are different. Like, mm, you're, you're getting so much less. Yeah, it's also okay if he puts in like a slower chapter where not a lot happens story-wise or plot-wise. Because, you know, he'll be back next week with another one, so... I just wonder how that's going to work. So I know with Attack on Titan, like, you know, you've got 46 pages every single month. And, mm. you know, it's just like you got to eat a big meal all at once. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the the kind of the rise and fall of the action in each chapter, you knew that each chapter was going to kind of end with something that would make you want to read the next chapter. Like, the, you know, it's always like the, mm. the ascent to the high to the climax of each chapter. And then there's like the climax of each arc. And then there's the climax of each volume, like you're always building up to something, building mm. up to something. And weekly, that's got to be really different. Like it's impossible to kind of maintain that very even storytelling. Not that Isayama did it successfully either, <laughs> but maybe like, I don't know, just I'm used to that kind of very regular and yeah, eating a big meal versus constantly getting snacks. I... Uh, yeah, it's, I don't know, cause, because it's so irregular still, and the chapters, you know, vary in, in length. It's kind of also hard to, what, yeah, to know what to expect going into it. Like, are we going to get a short chapter with not a lot going on? Are we going to get a short chapter with a lot, you know, put in there? Are we going to get, you know, a biker gang of <laughs> sheep? I don't know. I wonder too, how do people discuss when it's a weekly series? Because, you know, mm. what is spoiler week like? Or how many days until there is no to spoiler talk about week? It? I guess there's, not. There's spoiler not. day. There's spoiler day. <laughs> and that's Maybe it. so. 
It's just like when it's released, it's fair game. I'm not sure there even are spoilers. It's just like, it's out, great. At least from my experience. If it's out anywhere, it's fair game. Do we want to wrap it up? Okay. So. All right. Well, I guess on to chapter 10. On to chapter X. <laughs> <laughs> Chosen X, X. Mm. Okay. As always, we would like to thank our patrons. Titan Jaeger, Simon M., Silverana, Demonic Jesus, Linda Wynn, Aaron will win in chapter 140. Erwin BDE Smith and Flock Forrester is the best character in the manga. Thank you for holding on for dear life. I don't know. I don't know what else to say at this point. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, so uh, for the people with the Attack on Titan usernames, Good news, we'll be having our anniversary podcast up soon. It's already been recorded, so look forward to that. And I don't guess we have any other news? Nothing going on? Nope. 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 I've been too busy t so that I haven't been able to keep up with any Tumblr drama or Twitter drama or Attack on Titan drama. So if there is drama, I don't know about it. Nothing to report. No, I, I haven't seen anything either. So. It's good. It's 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 a little boring, but it's good, I guess. Um, yeah, I my oh yeah, my trip to the U.S. has been canceled because y'all won't open the border until early November. So I'm gonna miss out on my basic bitch dream of drinking pumpkin spice lattes and eating pumpkin pie pop tarts. Thanks, Joe. Really, thanks. But hey, I'm here to react to whatever chapter <laughs> of Chojin X <laughs> will land next. So that's some good news. So as always, thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you for chapter 10 of Chojin X. Bye. Bye. Bye.